that giggle kills yeah. me. <laughs> I'm Holly Ward, and my husband Nathan. This is Miles and Amelia. Miles is adopted. He may not quite understand what adopted is yet, but he will never know a time where he didn't know that he was adopted. We got married and a couple years later decided to try to start a family and it came really difficult, which we thought would be an option because of some health problems I'd had. So we started looking into adoption, it started the process, so it took 18 months. We had four failed adoptions. Um, one was a set of Come twins on, that we planned on for almost six months and at the last minute um, that adoption fell apart and another one we flew across the country to pick up a baby girl um, got off the airplane and found out that one wasn't going to happen and that was probably the lowest point that was about a month before he was born and we just thought i can't i can't do it anymore but we just we still felt like that was what we needed to do the week before he was born the, his um <laughs> His birth mom decided to look at other profiles, so she'd picked us and then decided to look at other families, so we were uh, then unpicked, and that was really hard. It was Mother's Day weekend, and I remember just sitting in the house and crying, 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 wondering if I'd ever be a mom, and went about that week, Got and then we got a phone call. It was a Monday, and the agency called and said, she's at the hospital, he's being born, and you need to show up and come pick up your baby, and it was so surreal. We. It was crazy. Packed up the car, drove 26 hours. We're, yeah, we were living and in Chicago at that time, and his birth mom rode a bus from <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada to St. George, Utah. The excitement and massive amounts of Diet Coke <laughs> got us there. He was born Monday at 5 o'clock in the evening. He was just a little over a day old when we got to see him, and the nurses knew we were coming at the hospital. We we came in and then they wheeled in this tiny little bassinet and this little tiny baby in it and they you know just here you go it was so strange after such a long struggle so much heartache walking out of the hospital with a baby was just so surreal right after we adopted miles we heard from the detailer that he wanted to send us to italy and we thought well this will be good we can go to italy save some money, come back, and be able to afford another adoption, because adoption is super expensive. On the 5th of July, I was at my parents' house and I took a pregnancy test, and I was shocked. When it was positive, I was shocked. I, it was something that we never thought would happen. It was something that doctors told us would never happen. So yeah, it was a, it was a huge shocker, but you know, a blessing, nonetheless, a miracle, you know, to have her. You know, each of our children are, miracles in their own in their own way but nothing can really prepare you for when when this other little human all of a sudden depends on everything from you and the happiness that they bring you and the frustration and the tears good and bad that come with it it's very rewarding but it is it's crazy <laughs> it's nice that we were able to experience adoption as well as pregnancy and birth to see both sides of it and be able to understand the good things and the bad things and the frustrations and the joys of both sides of it. Carrying Amelia and you know going through labor and birth and pregnancy gave me a really great appreciation yeah, for Miles's birth mom and yeah. what she went through. Yeah, and knowing that she went through yeah. that and then at the end didn't get the reward. Like for me, pregnancy was it was rough. Labor was horrible, but I knew at the end I would have her to come home with me and she went through all of that for him knowing the whole time that she she wasn't getting the prize at the end. She was placing him with somebody else. We got a chance to meet her. Actually, after it was all done, we signed all the paperwork and walked into the room, and it was really interesting. We walk in and I met her, and she just felt familiar. I mean, I think it's because our paths were destined to cross, and I, I really believe that. I mean, obviously, you know, Miles is the best reward that can come out of it. For me, I think... <laughs> it's amazing the second that this child is placed in your arms the just this wave of love for this person that you just met that you never thought was possible it's, it's amazing 